Hey YouTube, I uh, wanted to take a video real quick because there's been a lot of changes in my shrimp population in the last about two weeks. I had a major die off of about 12 of my adult shrimp. Uh, luckily, um, it, most of my females gave birth before they died. It seemed to be a molting problem. I think the temperature in the tank spiked because it got some direct sunlight that was way too warm and the tank temperature got up to about 89 degrees and I think that wiped out a lot of my shrimp but the good news is I have a bunch of babies there's one in here somewhere let me find him If I can make this focus. There. Oh, maybe I can. Anyways, I have a bunch of the tiny little babies that are actually still transparent. And then I've spotted four or five kind of juvenile shrimp. There you can see one. Two of them, actually. And so I've got at least four or five of that size, and I've spotted another five or six baby baby shrimp, and then this shrimp right here is about to give birth. So hopefully my population will rebound after that major die-off. It seems like I'm breaking even now, so when I get some extra, I'll probably sell them to the local pet store for a couple bucks a piece. I also want to show you the uh, plants in here. This is my crypt that I got from PetSmart. I've been pruning the leaves back as they're slightly turning brown. But there was uh, another YouTube user. I believe there was an L and a 4 in his name. Um, I will have subscribed to him recently, so he'll be in my subscriptions. But uh, he got the same plant, and it turned out to be uh, Crypt Wenty. So I was pruning those leaves, but they might not have needed to be pruned because they might have been turning color to be... The kind of wenty like leaves so I'm gonna let them turn brown I've got a couple that are browning up back in here I'm just gonna let them go they're getting kind of wavy because uh, that's what the wenty looks like so I think that's what it is additionally my wisteria here is finally really taken off I have two plants back there you can see here you might see it from this side better I have two plants. Pardon the Paragard. The new fish that we got brought in some ick with them, and I don't have a quarantine tank because I don't have space. So, the Wisteria is doing really well. So, the new fish that I brought in was this little Endler. He's doing really well. He adds a lot of personality to the tank. Uh, the only problem is... Ick seems to be getting the better of the guppy back here. He just kind of lays on top of the filter and uh, doesn't do a whole lot. He still eats. And I treat the tank with Paragard. I've been treating it for about a week now. And uh, as you can see, all the other fish look perfectly healthy. This really beautiful guppy here is in great health. The little endler seems to be a new good friend. My neons are all doing well. But for some reason, this little guy is just not cutting it. His dorsal fin is all torn up. I don't know if you can make it out. He's got a couple of spots on his tail. So, I'm doing all I can. I have the tank temperature up a little bit, around 78, 79. And I'm treating it with Paragard, but we'll see if he makes it. He's been looking a little bit better now since he's been treated for about a week, so maybe he'll pull through. But I'm about to hit the five-minute mark, so thanks for watching, and I'll just kind of sit back and record the tank for a bit
Alright, thanks for watching.